All right, everyone. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to see down in here. I'll have to do this in bits and pieces, but I'm getting ready to uh, hook up my water pump. All right, so this is the area that I have to work in. Unfortunately, I put my small door in this one spot. I can come in from over here. Uh, and reach over if I need to which I probably will uh, So essentially what's going to happen is the feed will come from here to a shutoff before The filter and the pump the filter will go right here Water will come out there and then I'll put an elbow up to a T up here To the water lines already installed from the city water now the first thing I have to do is this is the open position now to close it, I have to do this and then open it this way. Now I need to make sure I have the proper area uh, to open and close this. Now, I have a board in my hand here, which is a bit of a problem. So what I will need to do, uh, again, this is the open position, is I'll need to make sure that uh, I can turn it this way, like this. Apologize, I'm doing this one-handed here i have plenty of room this way i'll just have to make sure when i put the pex piping in that i have plenty of room this way so i'm going to measure out this distance here and then uh put this first piece in all right i measured roughly the distance to make sure to keep this away i cut a i cut a two inch piece so let's do a little test so this give me plenty of room this way so this is the on off uh, the next thing I will need to do, obviously, is to secure this to these pieces right here. Alright, so I'm going to show you each step of the way what I'll be doing underneath it to make these connections. Uh, this is half inch to half inch PEX. I have this right here. This is going to be slid all the way on. And let's see, actually, I need to put this right here. And I don't. I want this even with the edge. Well, then I tighten this. So I'm going to slide this right here. Set that down, and then just use this crimping tool right here. It's going to fit just right inside this. So I really can't mess this up. All right. So let's just do this. Here we go. See if I can give you a really good view of how that's going to work. That is going to squeeze right on here. Actually, I'm going to, I'm going to set this down. See if I can show you this way a little bit easier. I use the sink to my advantage. I'm going to push down on this. All right, and I'll be using this. Show you what that does. That squeezes all this nice and snug. So that is definitely not going anywhere. So I'm going to get to work underneath assembling all this, and I'll give you a, a little a, a detailed review uh, once I'm finished. All right, this is my uh, filter that I'll be putting on. Uh, I have double checked to make sure that the flow is going in the right direction on this particular model. I know it's a little hard to see. There's an arrow right here pointing in the direction of the flow. Now I am using Teflon tape. Uh, I'm going to put probably like three to five layers on here and then place the filter on. Uh, it's important to make sure that nothing gets uh, inside here. No debris or debris if you want to pronounce it that way. And I'm only going to hand tighten this filter on here and it does actually say on a hand tighten only all right so that's in a good position right now I'm not going to go any further than that the next step is going to be hooking up all the uh, PEX tubing all right folks I have my plumbing except for a hot water hookup of course is all set at this point so uh let me take you on a tour underneath. All right, to start with, uh, there's my 
uh, city water hookup right here. I do have an extra shutoff even though the city water has its own uh, check valve. I wanted something extra just in case that went bad. That line uh, goes directly to the cold water hookup over here to the sink. Now, as far as the uh, sure flow pump, which I have uh, set up down here, I set it up uh, so that it is below the level of the tank because I didn't want this pulling. It's my understanding is better that is this has the pressure behind it and it just pushes the water through. Uh, I have the uh, shut off again here, even though my city water has its own check valve. I have uh, the shut off here just to keep the water from going back in case that check valve went bad. All right, so the water coming out of the tank comes down through here. Uh, by the way, I fixed the uh, tank leak using JB Water Weld. Just don't go skimpy on that stuff, and it'll work really good. Right here is the pre filter. That uh, goes into the SureFlow pump. Uh, let me see if I can turn this sideways to get you a little bit better view here. Sorry about that, folks. Lighting isn't all that great either. All right, and then up into I have uh, this shutoff here. So if I'm ever on city water, I'm going to turn this on and shut this off. And powering my SureFlow pump, I have this converter here. Uh, I don't get any compensation for that, but I will still, if I can uh, find the link, I will put it in the description below. Now that right now I have just hooked up on this system here. Uh, this is temporary. Eventually I will have my 12-volt uh, power hooked in. And what I've done to, to know that this pump is on is I turn it on here. However, you will see the light right up here come on. Mm -hmm. Alright, now this does have a cooling fan which you hear. Alright, so let's go over some, uh, uh, I wouldn't call it an issue with the pump itself because it's working great. However, uh, if I want a slow flow of water, I'm having a problem with short cycling as you will see here in a moment. Now, if I turn the water on, you know, fast enough, there is no short cycling at all. But the issue there is how much water do I want to expend just to keep it from short cycling. So the next thing I'm going to do is getting what's called an accumulator tank with built-in bladder. I will install that somewhere in here, and that is supposed to help with the uh, short cycling. All right, so folks, there's my plumbing uh, so far. For either town water or uh, my own sure flow pump. I hope you like this video. If nothing you found it uh, entertaining, maybe even educational, uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share.